Will you be my Valentine? I'm going to go, no. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. (laughs) Traditionally, Valentine's Day is a day for lovers. Yes. Where romantic partners can buy each other giant boxes of chocolates, Mm -hmm. giant boxes of flowers. Yeah. Giant boxes of edible underwear. Mm. That's a lot. (laughs) A lot of giant boxes getting tossed around (laughs) on February 14th. But you know who's been left out of the Cupid's Day Love Fest? Who? The children. Aww. I say the children need to be a part of the love on Valentine's Day. And that's why a lot of card companies come out with special children's Valentine's Day cards. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So my, cute. my kids this year for their class, one of them got banana themed Valentine's Aww. Day cards with banana jokes all over them. <laughs> and the other one got tacos. Oh, and I was like so happy. I love it. I love it. I mean, They're so good. Those are really good. When I think back to my school days, I remember they always had different cartoon characters yeah. on them, like Looney Tunes those, yeah. Yeah. or little puppies and kittens. And typically, all a kid has to do is scribble their name onto one of those, yep. stuff it in yep. their friend's backpack, maybe with a box of sweethearts, and there you go. Yep. Valentine's Day success. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's great for school. But what about when children want to show their love and appreciation for their parents on Valentine's Day? Oh, that's Aww. nice. In those cases, a traditional Hallmark card probably isn't going to do the trick. And that's when those little boys and girls get out their box crayons and their smiley face stickers and they make their own handmade Valentine's cards to share how they really feel inside. If my kids are listening, I expect one of those. I'm just going to let you know. We always did that in our family. And while that's obviously cute, it can also be pretty hilarious. (laughs) That's why in honor of the upcoming holiday on February 14th, a list just came out of the funniest letters kids have ever written to their parents for Valentine's Day. Because you know that kids don't express themselves the same way that we do. But no. let's start with number seven. Six-year-old Brendan cut out a big paper heart for his mom and wrote on it, quote, Thank you, Mom, for making me food so I don't die. <laughs> Brendan. You know what? It's a good thank you. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's from the heart. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> I don't know. Why do I feel like just from the way that he wrote that, he had another sibling that Mom didn't make food for? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making yeah. me food and I didn't end up like Jessica. More yeah. dino nuggets. Oh, Thanks, no. Mom. Oh, Number no. six on the list, little Jenna wrote a poem for her mom on Valentine's Day. Okay. She put heart stickers all over it, and the poem said, Mom, I love you more than rainbows and beautiful skies. No. I love you more than buttercups and wings of butterflies. That's sweet. I love you more than cow. And that's how it ends. (laughs) We all love cow. I mean, that's a huge compliment right there. Brendan was really thankful for cows, too, just to eat them. Yeah. Milk or steaks, whatever. I love that little Jenna's kind of like a dude with her Valentine's Day gifts. Mm. She'll do something just thoughtful enough to pass (laughs) and then quit halfway through. It's like, all right, I did my part. Number five on the list. This Valentine's card's from six-year-old Dylan, written to his aunt, and instead of drawing a big heart, Uh he made a big oblong-shaped item. Okay. And underneath it, he wrote, you are a beautiful being, but I'm not good at drawing human beings, so I drew a potato instead. (laughs) (laughs) At least he described it. If someone drew a potato, I'd still think it was my body. I'd be like, yeah, that looks like me. (laughs) That's my shape. Oh, my God. The ant suddenly on a diet. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> These are the funniest handmade Valentine's cards and messages that kids have ever given to their parents and family members. Number four, five-year-old Bella wrote a Valentine's Day message on the family whiteboard okay. up on their fridge yeah. so everybody could see it. It had a big smiley face, and in large letters above it, it said, I love my whore family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A little misspelling there. That's really sweet, though. Yes, it's, it's, it's a different it's, home than you yes. came from. Even with all their questionable choices. You know? She has like 15 brothers and yes. sisters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a couple so dads funny. involved in the situation. It's fine. Yeah, and that's when it's a little bit weird, though, when she's like, I want to grow up to be just like mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not. As long as mom's happy. There you go. Number three is a card made out of red and purple construction paper. It has hearts all around it from a seven-year-old girl. And in one of the hearts, she wrote, Mom and Dad, you're lucky to be alive. I love you. Oh my oh, god! That, I think that was a threat. Yeah. <laughs> um, suddenly they're enrolling her in child psychologist yeah. therapy. Yeah. therapy. Maybe, written by the doll Annabelle, maybe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open. <laughs> oh, 
Number two, this one was written by seven-year-old Donovan to his teacher. Okay. And it says, Aww. my second Valentine is for Mrs. Johnson. Aww. You are a great teacher. You're not on the Jedi Council, but you're still great within the Force. <laughs> Slightly I disappointed, but mm-hmm. <laughs> and the number one handmade Valentine's card from a kid is a poem from a young boy named Lucas, and he wrote, "Valentine's Day is cool. You are too. You could be better, but I still like you." Oh, <laughs> wow! He's like throwing shade. I don't know. He's just encouraging self improvement. Oh, you know? wait. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. That was Brooke's card to her husband last year. Oh, my bad. My husband. Yeah, but he could be better. Yeah, we'll work on it. We'll fix yeah. it. The text into 78592. What's the best Valentine's Day present or card you've ever received from Aww. your kid? Your phone tap's coming up right after this.